Pep Guardiola's Manchester City have had a hot and cold start to the season, but are unsurprisingly in the mix for the league title once again. But the long-term injury to their most effective creator in Kevin De Bruyne has thrown a genuine spanner in the works at the Etihad. Last season, we became so accustomed to Kevin De Bruyne whipping them balls into the box from them half-space areas for Erling Haaland to tap home. Highlighted by the fact that 13 of Haaland's 52 goals were assisted by the Belgian last season. And since De Bruyne's injury on the opening day of the Premier League season, Pep Guardiola's side have struggled to score as consistently. They had scored 33 goals after 9 games at this point last season whereas they have just 19 at the same point in this campaign. Even though they're still averaging over two goals a game, they're just not hitting the heights they know they can reach. In comparison to the last four seasons, City are not crossing the ball as much as before. They're also playing the least amount of passes into the penalty area and therefore have recorded the lowest amount of penalty area touches in this same period. So City have to seriously adapt to Kevin De Bruyne's loss, but they have found their answer in Julian Alvarez. The Argentine World Cup winner has been taking up that right centre midfield position on paper. And from this position, he's amassed seven goals and five assists in just 14 games. But does this mean that Julian Alvarez's role is the same as De Bruyne's? Not quite. There's a sense that with Julian Alvarez, City have almost revitalised the two striker system. Alvarez isn't playing as a genuine right midfielder, he's playing as a second number nine, or as a shadow striker, playing directly behind and to the side of Haaland, facilitating him in and around the box and having the ability not just to score from these positions, but to assist from them too. This is a different dynamic to Kevin De Bruyne. We can see from the data just how much Kevin De Bruyne was responsible for getting the ball into the box for his team. Not only did he cross the ball 130 more more times than any other Manchester City player last year, but he topped the squad ranks for through balls, switches of play and carries into the penalty area. Despite this role tweak though, Alvarez is still putting up some quite impressive numbers when it comes to creation, even when you compare him to some of the best in the league, very much holding his own in the creative side of the game. But when it comes to direct goals, Alvarez cleans up. Not only is he contributing more per 90 minutes in the league than some of the top club's main players, he's also scoring more than double the amount of goals that Kevin De Bruyne managed per 90 minutes last season, which is an eye-catching tally. But if Kevin De Bruyne is out until the back end of this year, and they've sold the likes of Riyad Mahrez, who was creating the second most chances for City last season, and Ilkay Gundogan, who created the fifth most chances from last season, then who is creating the chances for Manchester City outside of Julian Alvarez. Enter Jeremy Doku. Doku statistically is one of the best dribblers in European football. Over the past year, Doku has managed to register just over six successful take-ons per 90 minutes, and his ability to generate goal-scoring chances from these dribbles is incredible. We can see the likes of players he's trumping in these metrics. Some of them are the very best wingers in the entire of Europe. And we've already seen his ability to go 1v1, suck players onto him and create goal-scoring opportunities in particularly against Brighton and Hove Albion and RB Leipzig. And who was there to tap in both of his crosses in these situations? Ballon d'Or nominee Alvarez. Their game styles complement each other so well. One can lure players onto him and create chances from tighter areas on the line, and the other can sniff out a goal through top positioning, arriving late and striking the ball well. So do you think Manchester City will win a fourth consecutive Premier League title? with Doku and Alvarez as key figures of the team? Or do you think the injury to Kevin De Bruyne will eventually be their downfall?